Hi everyone, so in my last video I had reviewed the Rokinon 14mm f2.8 lens and in this video I'm going to be reviewing the newer version of the Rokinon 14mm f2.8 Mark II. Now Rokinon and Sam Yang are the same brand so I will just be calling it Rokinon in this video uh, but both of these lenses are made by the same company in the same factory. Now for version 2 of this lens, which is the one that I have here with me now, uh, the main difference is that the version 2 of the lens includes a focus lock. So in this case, once you have focused on a star, you can turn this ring and that locks the focus in place, which is a very useful feature for astrophotography. So uh, that way your focus doesn't drift over the night. Now, in terms of the overall construction of this lens, the entire lens is made of metal except for the lens hood, which is heavy duty plastic. So the, uh, yeah, the lens is very, very well built. I would say it's better built than the original, although it did, you know, the original felt quite sturdy and quite heavy duty as well. So I didn't have any complaints about the build quality of that either. But I do find that the new one feels a little bit heavier and a little bit better built as well. Now the focus ring on this lens is very very smooth it works beautifully no complaints there I found that the aperture ring on this yep that turns very nicely as well and it just clicks whenever you switch to a different aperture so you could use that in the dark at night as well without having to you know worry about turning on your light to see what what aperture the lens is set to. I did some tests on the optical quality as well to see if the optical quality is as good uh, as the build quality on this lens. So this was the first picture that I had taken with this lens and at first glance things look okay at the top right and bottom right you can see that the stars look larger than the left side so uh, yeah the lens also is not perfectly focused so if you zoom in you can notice that the stars are out, out of focus and despite my best efforts I was not able to get them any more in focus than that because the lens stopped just short of infinity focus so even when the lens was turned all the way as far as it could go towards infinity and according to the markings it was you know it was it was right at infinity it was still not fully focused at infinity and i couldn't reach focus and the only way to reach focus properly would be to make that adjustment on the lens by removing uh, or by lifting the rubber a little bit and tinkering with it which i did not want to do so um, as you can notice the lens does not fully come to focus but it, it's fairly close. The other thing I noticed that was that the lens elements were in this case decentered a little bit. You can see coma even at the very center of the image which is not something you should be seeing in most cases. And if we look at the edges of the image we can zoom into 100%. So top left corner, it's uh, not too bad, not horrible. But if you switch to the top right corner, I would say the performance is worse than it was on Mark 1 of this lens. So at the edges, bottom uh, right, also worse than the original. You can see a significant amount of coma there. And bottom left, uh, not horrible, but yeah, there is significant amounts of distortion there, coma, chromatic aberration. So I would say the performance in pretty much all corners, except maybe the top left, is worse on Mark II of this lens than it was on Mark I. Uh, let's pull up another picture. And again, I will be making all of these images available in the description as well. I've put them in a Google, a Google Drive folder there for you to review if you want to download them and take a look for yourself. And now for this image, this is the center of the image. Again, you can notice fairly severe coma even at the very center. Although this image seems a little bit better focused, but that's probably because of the drop in temperature by that time. Now, top left corner, not too bad on a full frame Canon 6D camera. However, the bottom, significant amounts of distortion. You can see the house over here is pretty distorted. Uh, again, bottom right hard to judge because there aren't stars but yeah the bench is fairly distorted worse than version one 
Top right corner, again, seems like worse performance than Mark 1 of this lens. So overall, yeah, not, not great. Uh, let's take a look at uh, a full sky image where we can see stars all across the field of view. Okay, and there we go. So let's zoom into the center. So again, the center is not as sharp, not quite as in focus, despite my best efforts. That's as far as close to infinity as I could get it, even when the lens was fully uh, at ambient temperature. So you can still see a good amount of coma, a bit more chromatic aberration even in the center than mark one of this lens. Again, top left corner, pretty bad, worse performance than mark one of this lens. Bottom right, I think that is also worse than the original. You can see a lot of coma there too. And bottom left, same story, worse performance than the original. And top right, uh, sorry, top left, not fully in focus, but it is better than the other corners. So there does seem to be some decentering of the lens as well. And yeah, so uh, you can download these images for yourself to take a look. You can kind of see the Milky Way here behind the clouds, and that's the, the cleft in the Milky Way, kind of the dark lane running through. Um, so overall, uh, yeah, not too happy with the performance of this lens. Uh, you know, I, I expected better from a newer version of the lens, but again, uh, there is a lot of sample variation when it comes to lenses from Rokinon or Sam Yang. So this could just be a bad copy. Uh, you know, if, if you end up getting a bad copy like this, you can return it and then try to order another copy that is better. Uh, but yeah, mechanically, this lens is very, very nice. Uh, mechanically, I would give it, yeah, at least I would say an eight out of 10 quality control or sample variation. I'd give it, I'd say five out of 10 because a lot of the Rokinon or Samyang lenses tend to be inconsistent about whether or not they can focus at infinity. And I bought this lens brand new on Amazon, so it's not like it was a used lens or anything like that. So I was expecting better. And in terms of optics, uh, yeah, I, I'm not too happy with it here. I would give it a four out of 10 just because of, of the pretty bad decentering, the high levels of coma and the high levels of distortion present. Uh, so yeah, those are my thoughts on it. So um, yeah, let me know what you think. If you end up downloading those images, uh, take a look and uh, see for yourself and leave your thoughts in the comments below. And if you uh, bought one of these lenses as well, let me know what your experience has been with it. So once again, thank you very much for watching and clear skies.